We hear it all the time, but it's true. Steph Curry changed basketball forever. And the sum of money that the Golden State Warriors pay him each year will reflect just that. Being the first $200 million man in NBA history and making at least $40 million in salary in each of the last five years has given Steph a whole lot of options for his already lucrative lifestyle. Especially for the guy that was once making a not-so-fabulous $4 million by his standards early in his Hall of Fame career. So in 2019, Steph made one of the bigger investments in his life when he pulled the trigger on a brand new mansion in Atherton, California, which was an enormous step up from his previous California home that was worth around $6.3 million. Steph and his wife Aisha settled on a 1.2 acre home in Atherton worth a staggering $31 million. And that became far and away the biggest purchase of Steph's life at the time and reportedly the biggest real estate purchase of 2019 in the entire Bay Area. Atherton is notoriously known as the most expensive zip code in the United States and for being an organically affluent location home to a ton of the world's celebrities. So Steph was only the latest addition of celebs to the wealthiest area in the U.S. when he bought the home in 2019. Steph's home is predictably focused on extravagance and privacy. It features a fully gated structure and has a relatively flatter shape that makes the house less visible from the mainstream public, and of course keeping Steph and his family out of the larger public eye. The home's glassy exterior adds flair surrounded by a handful of gardens and terraces, making the perfect snapshot of a house. Interior amenities include a large swimming pool with a poolside cabana, a fireplace, a gym, and a built-in barbecue, providing the curries with all the layback and fun you could ask for. And who knows the type of silly, insane amenities Steph may have added to his humongous swimming pool. The property is met by a long gated driveway that leads up to the main entrance and is surrounded by a sort of floral design that gives the entire place the ultimate luxury feel. But if you thought that Steph would put a cap on his spending limit after that enormous transaction, you were wrong. Because that, after all, wasn't even close to being the largest purchase of Steph's life. Even when considering that he was paying north of $330,000 just in property tax for his $31 million mansion in the top richest areas in the world. In 2020, Steph and his family moved out to Malibu. Yeah, another remarkably pricey area, but you already knew that. Malibu, known for its breathtaking scenery and sunsets and being nearly every person's dream vacation spot. So why not buy a house there? Besides, you know Steph's kids will grow up one day to tell everyone how they grew up near the stunning Malibu beaches and resorts. But get this, Steph purchased this mansion for, wait for it, $50.1 million a 13,000 square foot home that probably comes with any and everything you can find on earth. I mean, he spent nearly one quarter of his contract that he got a couple of years earlier. Now this home, much like Steph's home in Atherton, is mostly all glass from the exterior. But what makes this super mansion unlike any mansion in the world is that the glass exterior gives way to some of the most stunning views in the world. Stunning Malibu views, that is. Does it get any better than that? The views are serene, but it's the view of the Pacific Ocean from Steph's Living Lounge that really would make it feel like you're filming a movie at the onset of a Hollywood premiere. Seriously. Of course, with the ultimate view comes the ultimate seating area the house's living lounge consists of. To assist in your observation of all the beautiful views, there is a modern minimalist design that provides you with comfortable seating in every corner of the lounge. It's wide, it's spacious and open, and is topped with a fireplace to make the family time and sightseeing time experience unforgettable. Heck, I don't even know how anyone could forget anything about this home. But let's keep moving along. Right by the lounge area is a dining room and kitchen. So when you take a few steps past the lounge room, you'll immediately feel like you just got up from the beach and walked right into a restaurant. Correction, a very lavish restaurant. 
The dining room features a huge, nearly 20 foot long table that is all glass and seats up to 12 people. Moving along to the kitchen area, and it's going to make you think that this place always serves up an entire cuisine. It's that complex. The kitchen is equipped with multiple countertops, and each top is made for various food prep techniques. You have your cutting and dicing, frying, blending, and even a place to correctly sort out the exact amount of each ingredient you need. Come on, this has to be too good to be true, right? Did I even mention the refrigerator is so large you can literally stand inside of it? One floor up is where all the bedrooms are. Oh, and by the way, the house allows for you to make your own way upstairs using the marble staircase or the elevator. Either way, there is some even crazier stuff up here. The master bedroom is headlined by a massive balcony that, you probably guessed it, comes with yet another incredible view of the ocean and some long, comfy chairs to sit and enjoy the view in the sunshine. The bathroom inside the master room has two vanities and right smack dab in the middle is an enormous bathtub. And we of course cannot forget the insane storage space in the closets of these in-suites. The closet in the master room comes equipped with the entire space of an average master bedroom size. So you pretty much have a master bedroom within a master bedroom. And it also has a bench and mirrors inside for that luxury wardrobe appeal. The guest house that is located just outside the main house is only the size of the average American townhome. Nothing spectacular, I guess. It does, though, come with a fully equipped kitchen, a fireplace, a TV, and even a jacuzzi right next door. Wait, who said the guest house wasn't amazing? And then finally moving over to the wellness room, which comes with a meditation space, a pool table, an exercise circuit with equipment, another kitchen, and a washroom, completing the list of legitimately everything you could ask for inside a home. But why limit it to just indoors when you have a 60 foot long pool that overlooks the scenery of the Pacific? Just in front of the pool is an insane spot that allows for some epic barbecuing and family time. And right beside the pool is Steph's miniature resort that has all the seating, all the amenities. And to make things perfect, it has the picture perfect milk white sand on the ground to maximize that beach like feel. And just a whole lot of fun. But then again, in a house like this, where can't Steph, Aisha, and the kids find some lasting fun? When you get paid for revolutionizing basketball the way Steph did, why not spend a fraction of your entire contract on a brand new mega mansion bigger and better than anything nearly the entire population has ever seen? This Steph Curry mansion is ridiculous! Man, can I get a quick tour inside? Like physically, please?